What's going on guys, it's Hellfire with MachineMasters.com I got a quick little tutorial for you guys on non-destructive chopping in the MPC. So it seems like a lot of people still don't understand the difference between the non-destructive slices and the pad parameters slices when they chop their samples up. So I figured I'd make a quick little video to try to explain it and uh, help you guys understand it a little bit better. Now there is quite a bit of information on this topic so I'm gonna try to keep this video as brief but as informative as possible. So let's jump right into it. So I got my sample loaded up here and this is one of the joints from the Booney Tunes collection. So make sure you head over to machinemasters.com and get yourself a copy of the Booney Tunes. All right, so that's the sample. Um, so let's just go into chop mode here. Now at this point in the process, everything is pretty much the same between the two different methods. So all you have to do is chop your sample up and then where the choice is gonna come in is where you go to convert it. So I'm just gonna put it in regions mode here and put it into 16 even slices. All right, so that's our slices. Now what we wanna do is we wanna hold shift and we wanna go to convert. And here's where we're gonna be presented with our choices. So on this convert to field, this is gonna give you your program type. So the first one is non-destructive slices, new program using slices. So this is gonna be completely non-destructive. If you go over one more, you see it's gonna have crop options. So this is gonna be destructive. So when you slice it, it's gonna give you all new samples. And then this is gonna be for your individual slices you know and then here is to extract a slice so we're not going to get in, into any of those but there's your pat, patch phrase and all that stuff so we're going to keep it on this first one and then you go down to the slice type and this is where you can choose between the two different types of non-destructive so the first one is non-destructive slice the second one is pad parameters so we're going to demonstrate the non-destructive slice first i'm just going to go ahead and do it you can also put it so it creates the events but we're not going to go into that one right now we're just going to focus on the actual slices so let's just press do it now what this does is basically it takes my sample and this pad is the start of my sample and this pad is the end of my sample and in between are all my slices so basically look at this it's these 16 pads as the whole sample just laid out across like this all right and then as we go across the pads we're just triggering different points in the sample all right so when we go to here we're going to pick our new program all right so we have all our slices this will be slice one slice two slice three four all the way up to 16. now if we go into program edit we go to samples so here it's telling me that on this pad, I have this sample selected. On this pad, I have the same exact sample selected. And all the way up to 16. If we press this button again, the samples, you see you have four different nipples on there. You go to it. This field here is gonna tell you which slice of this sample is on this pad. So that one's gonna be slice three, slice four, five, all the way up to 16. Now I can change what slice is assigned to the pad just by changing it here. So if I put this, let's say on 15, these two are now gonna have the same slice. I can put any sample I want on there or any slice that I want. And we're still using the same one sample, the same version of the one sample. All right, so now I got it to nine. So if we press pad nine, going to be the same all right and the other thing you can do is you can actually put a completely different sample in here so like if i want to assign a kick or something in here i can take um you know these pat these samples off of these pads and put kicks on there you know whatever i want or if i want to put this back on i would just reassign this sample to it and then select the slice and obviously these slices are referring back to you know these slices here which are shown here all right you see you have your program button here this is basically going to play out our program assignments while we're in the sampler so we can see our waveform you know while we audition our program <laughs> Now, 
Now I can also adjust my start and end points of each sample, right? Obviously when I move the start of one, it's gonna affect the end point of the one before it. If you wanna avoid that, you can just turn link slices off and now the slices are completely independent. All right, uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I think most people understand that already. Um, and you know, whatever edits you do here, since you're in program mode, when you go back out to the main mode, is gonna you're gonna hear those same changes, all right? So I think I pretty much covered everything on that. I don't think I missed anything. Um, so let's go ahead and reconvert this to a pad parameters program. Let's go back into chop mode. And you don't have to re-chop anything. You can just uh, do the conversion again. And it's basically just going to convert a second program. Okay, so let's go here and let's go to pad parameters. Let's press do it. Let's go out to here. Let's pick our new program. Now, the way this works is, like I said, with the non-destructive slices method, basically, this will be the start of your sample and your sample will stretch all the way to here. So this will be the start of your sample and this will be the end of your sample. Now, with pad parameters, it works different. Basically, what it does is it puts a copy of the entire sample on every pad. All right. And that's a non-destructive copy, too. So you only you still if you look in the software here, you see I still only have one um, audio file loaded up but it's a copy of that one audio file on every single pad now so basically I have 16 copies of that one sample and what it's doing what the pad parameters are doing it is is basically each pad is referencing my individual slices whatever I had set so if I go into program mode here now we're on our remember we're on our new our second program here if I go into program mode in the sampler, it still looks the exact same as before. But the only difference now is that you'll see if I move this waveform, right? Now I have the whole sample on that pad, but if I go back to this one, I still have my one slice. So basically, like I said, this one, you, you have all independent versions of the entire sample on each pad, but it, they're just trimmed to wherever you chopped it up at. So if I undo that, I have my original sample. And, you know, you can edit these waveforms however you want. So you can manipulate the sample however you want. You can have the slice points overlap. In this version with the pad parameters, the link slices... Uh, button is kind of irrelevant after you already convert it to a new program because like I said once you convert It put an entire copy of the sample on every single pad. So by default It's already going to be unlinked because now you have separate copies of the sample These two are are no longer linked anymore And if you look over here, you'll see the slice type is pad which I'll show you in program edit as well uh, it says pad there. Remember when we were on non-destructive slices that showed you the slice number, but now in here it's showing you pad. Um, and if you go here to the third nipple, it's going to show you, you know, how this pad is trimmed. So, so this is basically going to show you your trimming for each pad. <laughs> and you can edit you know, the trimming of the pad parameter in this screen and it's gonna reflect back in sample edit. So if I move one of these here, you know, and I go back here, this slice marker will be moved. This slice, these two slice markers are basically what you're seeing in here just without the waveform representation. So if I go back to the first nipple or the second one rather, I can go back i can change this to a non-destructive slice from from the other program and it's going to basically trigger the same exact thing so you can basically you know mix and match different versions of the programs if you want um you can make it get a little complicated but it's also you get a lot of freedom to do you know the type of stuff you want to do so so the other thing I want to mention is that, um, and I'm not going to go too deep into this, but using the pad parameters method unlocks some other features in uh, the program edit screen on these other two nipples. So 
you'll see here like you can edit the actual pad start and end from this screen and you also get some pad loop options if I put this on one of the in uh, the non-destructive slices you'll see that uh, those all those options are grayed out so pretty much you have to adjust all this stuff from within sample edit all right so just want to let you guys know that where that comes into play is um, if you ever want to use alternating loop you can set that up from right within here um, for your pad parameters if you want to use it with non-destructive slices you have to set it up in the sample uh, edit screen with the pad parameters you can do it in both with the non-destructive slices you can only set it up in uh, the sample edit screen and I'll make another video for you know go, uh, how to use the alternating loop but for now just know that if you want to use alternating loop from within program edit the slice type must be set to pad it's really powerful if you really get to understand how to use it so you know that's basically it hopefully I didn't leave anything major out if it's still something you guys don't understand just drop a comment in the comment box and I'll try to, to get to it and answer it as best as possible. I may not reply to all the comments, but I try to look at them as, as, as often as I can and I can kind of tell which tutorials you guys need next, which is how you know I, I started noticing people had questions about this. So, so make sure you also subscribe, rate the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. All right, peace.